Designer Rebecca Minkoff kicked off her latest spring line at New York Fashion Week, and along with her runway success comes her commitment to paying it forward so other young girls can see their dreams come true as well. She's tonight's Changemaker. Changemakers, brought to you by Adapt Community Network, empowering people through innovative solutions one person at a time. We change. She's turned her love of fashion into a global phenomenon. When I first started um, almost 13 years ago, it never occurred to me that I was a woman founding something. Now designer and entrepreneur Rebecca Minkoff wants to see other women empowered to follow their dreams. And as I began to hear more and more of these stories of, you know, the table not being even, I was like, you know what, it's my job um, as someone who has achieved a level of success to pay that forward and to make sure that those women are heard, that there is, you know, a way for them to unite power in numbers and so if we you know not just yelling loudly but actually making change and creating economic opportunities for women. Her passion for fashion started at an early age. When I was about eight my mom didn't want to buy me this dress that I wanted in the store and it was so easy it was probably a $20 dress um, but she said I'm going to teach you how to sew and uh, once I learned how to sew and I could think about something and imagine it and then create it, I became addicted. Her vision, an inspiration for girls looking to become leaders. I think it first starts with a change of mindset. I think you have to go into the room not feeling lucky that you're there, but that you deserve to be there and you should be there. And so I think it starts with you saying that to yourself and then you go into that room and if you look around and you know 50% of that room doesn't look like you, then something's a problem and you need to say, you know what, we need another woman in here. And she has some other sage advice. You're gonna be told no all the time. Ask any entrepreneur or any anyone who works anywhere, no is all the time. And I think you see, you know, it glossed over in society or on social media. Um, we're still told no every day. Yesterday I was told no. This morning I was told no. So I think it's it's just knowing that that's what you sign up for, especially as an entrepreneur. And you just have to begin to figure out, you know, how do you turn that no into a yes? Something very important to her, that she always has a next goal. There's 11 million women-owned businesses in the United States alone. So my next goal would be getting all those women to somehow be connected through my platform, Female Founder Collective, and really just see what happens when women start helping each other. And no matter how big you get, the goal is to stay humble and to stay driven and grounded. She's certainly doing that. Well, Rebecca Minkoff says pulling her latest samples, even now out of the box, is a bit like Christmas for her, even though she knows what they will look like. If you know somebody who might make a good change maker, reach out to me on Facebook and let me know about them.